Hello, my name is Dr. Carl Moore, and I will be your instructor for uh, Dynamic Systems 1 EML 3013C. And I just want to give you a brief introduction and say hello. Um, this is an exciting course. Um, I like it mainly because it gives insight into things that um, you may have wondered about and just seen in your everyday life, and you've thought to yourself, you know, how does that work? You know, what are what is the science or the math behind a particular phenomena or something that we've seen? Let me give you a couple of examples. Um, many of you have bowled before, I'm sure, and some of you may even bowl with backspin. So check this guy out. So as he rolls the ball, he has a backspin on it and goes in one direction, and then it finally has enough time to where it changes direction and goes in a different, right? So it, it spins back and then hits that pin that it didn't even look like it was headed towards at first. So we'll look at that. We'll look at like the forces on the ball um, based on the friction between the surface of the lane and the ball. How much time is required given the speed of that ball before it changes direction? We'll be able to look at that. Or how about this example? Here we have, I think this is a Lamborghini of some sort, but um, it's kind of functioning as a dragster in this case. You see it, how it kind of pops a wheelie there? So we'll look at that and we'll see like, well, what is the acceleration required for that to happen? What's the friction necessary between the wheels and the road surface, right? Um, how would that work if it is a motorcycle, right? So we'll be able to look at those kind of things and figure that kind of stuff out. Um, here we have two ships and based on the speed and the radar right on one ship um, how's that distance changing you know if we take equations that relate to the positions of each can we then talk about the change in distance the change in speed of one ship with respect to another so that would be cool and last but not least here um, and this is just a sample I mean we'll, we'll do more than this but, uh oh I think I have another video running here. Let me turn that off. Um, but in this picture, we have a pickup truck with a winch. And based on the pulley setup here, we're, this, this winch system is able to move this huge tree. And so we'll look at that. We'll say, well, based on the speed of the winch, what is the speed at which that tree is being pulled, right? Um, and why is it moving so slowly? So we'll, we'll look at things like that. So we have a lot to investigate, but the cool thing is a lot of the things we look at, you already have some intuition about, and then we'll use math and science to either show that our tuition is correct or maybe um, not so correct, but we'll see. Um, for our Canvas site, just wanted to give you a quick breakdown. Um, here's kind of the uh, foundation, right? Um, where I just give you kind of a welcome to dynamics. It goes over the different topics that'll be covered. Um, a couple of different syllabi, so a very quick one, um, short, and then the more detailed syllabus um, that we have for our accreditation for the, for, uh, the department. Um, my office hours and the office hours for the TA, and this will be updated um, shortly. And some other items that will help you along in the course. Then as you get into the meat of the course, and then this is at the home tab, um, or the modules tab for the course gives you this same, this same uh, website here. Um, for each section of the course or each chapter, uh, we have a different um, block of items. So this is chapter one, then chapter two, chapter three is down here, and it goes along like that. And what we have for each is a first an introduction, right, for what is this particular topic or chapter about. Um, for the first two, we have a PDF of the chapter, because I know some of you don't have the book yet. And then there's a multimedia set, as you see here, and a multimedia set there, right? And that multimedia set has some um, recordings I've made about that particular topic. And these are recordings that were perhaps done, you know, a year or two ago, sometimes even longer ago, but they're they're kind of an extra piece, and so if you need a little bit more on a particular topic, you can go there. Um, in this next area, the learning assignments, that's where you will see um, a listing of our notes that are required for that particular section. So I, I want you guys to, we'll be taking up notes uh, periodically. 
um, some in-class work that we'll do, um, the homework assignment, and then the homework solution will be posted once you guys turn them in. There are no labs, and so even though there's a lab column here, I'll be removing that because we don't have labs for the course. The final um, little row in each area is the lecture notes. And so let me go ahead and click on that. And here, there are my notes in PDF format that you will get in class. And what I will deliver to you in class is very similar to what you'll see in this particular column. Um, this last column is Zoom recordings, and since we're face-to-face, -face, uh, there generally won't appear any Zoom recordings for the course. Um, the assignments will appear under the Assignments tab. Here you'll see, for example, um, uh, where we have muddiest point surveys, and so that's where I'm asking you what in my lecture was not clear, and it'll go in this area, and you'll see there'll be survey assignments there. Homework assignments, participation in notebook assignments, our group project, which will come later in the semester, and our test. And so the test sections that'll be covered on, the, on any given test will be included in this assignments area. And that's about it. Um, for our Canvas site, um, I hope it's understandable. And of course, just ask if there's anything that's unclear. But I look forward to seeing you um, as we get started in Dynamic Systems. Bye-bye.